have a little bit of a random haul to share with you guys. Just some things I've picked up here and there and thought I would share them with you. So first up, I was at Walmart uh, after Halloween and they had some of their things marked down. I did not see these when they were full price. Uh, I just happened to see them when they were marked down. But I went ahead and grabbed them. It was like 75% off. So this is a scavenger hunt game and it says it comes with 10 accents three signs with stakes, six scavenger hunt cards, and 12 sticker sheets. And of course, I thought I would grab these for crafting. So it comes with this cute bat and this really cute skeleton with this little hat on. And then we've got this cat and this jack-o'-lantern. I wish I had seen this um, earlier. It makes me wonder what else I've missed. I looked down the aisles at Walmart, but I really didn't see anything that I thought was great. So, um, but I thought these are really cute. They're very large. I'm not sure how I will use them. I think I could put some of these in my October daily, just punch holes in them and use them as dividers. Um, so that's probably what I will do. Um, this is a scavenger hunt set. So some of these have words on them, like this one says this way, but I think if I use it, I could just cover that up with an embellishment across the middle. Um, same with this little guy here. And then look at how cute this Frankenstein is. So stinking cute. So it came with those really large pieces. And then it also came with this pack of stickers, which I could totally use for crafting. And then it came with these scavenger hunt um, checklists. And I could probably find a way to use these as well. So I bought that cute little set. And then I bought this bingo game. Um, this one says one game, eight players. One collar poster, eight bingo cards, and eight sticker sheets. And so look how cute those are. Um, I'm really loving the colors of this. So yeah, I went ahead and grabbed that. It comes with this large poster, several of these bingo cards, and then some of these like uh, these little skeletons here are the markers, and then it has some stickers. So I think I could definitely fussy cut these out or use a paper punch and make ephemera out of these. So yeah, I just thought they're really cute. It was $5, but like I said, I got it for 75% off. So yeah, picked that up. So I thought that was fun. All right, then I have a couple of dies from Timu that I picked up. I picked up this one. I thought it was really cute. It is a tombstone die with like a scalloped edge around the side and then it says RIP and it's got this really cute skeleton die, a little spider and a ghost. And I thought that was super adorable. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I picked up this snowman mug die. This keeps popping up on my feed over there. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It comes with all of the really cute little pieces, the whipped cream and all of that good stuff. So I grabbed that. Okay. Then I have some happy mail from... Uh, Rhoda at Nifty Crafty Me. She had a um, subscription, um, I guess, club maybe uh, over at uh, Ko-Fi. And um, this was the very last month that she was doing it. And so this is the last box that we're going to receive, which I'm kind of sad about because I've really been enjoying receiving these. Um, but I thought I would just share what she sent. There's some really cute stuff in here. So she packages it up really cute. Um, she's got this little thank you card and she always sends a little dangle and this, look at this, this month she sent this like beaded Christmas tree that she made. Oh my gosh. Um, I would love to have a tutorial on this. That is so pretty. Um, yeah, absolutely adorable. So it's not even focusing. Sorry. That is so cute. So yeah, really cute little tree dangle there. And then she sent some of these cute little um, woven hats that you can, you know, use for all kinds of things, little embellishments. It's got red, hot pink, and light pink. And then she sent a whole pack of these really pretty, like, red flowers that look like poinsettias. And they're, they have holes through the center, so they're like beads. Um, so those are super pretty, and there's a ton of them in there. And then she sent this little red sack, like Santa's sack here. And in here, she has packed this thing with all sorts of adorable charms and goodies. So I'm just going to go through and share with you. Look how cute. Love the pink and the mustard. So cute. Look at these. I have not seen these anywhere. These little red ornament charms. I love these. 
And then look how cute these are. I ordered some of these from uh, CoBeads and I will gladly take more. They are so cute. And then look at these little hats. This looks like the Scrap Diva Designs die that just came out. So cute. And then we've got these little mittens with these bears poking out. And then my favorite little reindeer. I ordered a few of these off of Timu, but I'm really glad to have more. Those are super cute. And then we've got these white snowflakes. And then these really pretty holly berries and leaves. So yeah, absolutely love that. Super sad that that subscription club is ending, but um, I have really enjoyed it. Thank you, Rhoda, very much. Okay, next up I have a very small uh, Michaels haul. I was uh, enabled by Gina at Scrapenology, I think. She had shared some really cute stuff that she got at Michaels, and so I went on there and online and placed an order. Uh, the Michaels around me don't have anything in the store. <laughs> it's like no selection whatsoever. So if I usually get something, I just order it online. Um, so I went on there and placed an order. I found these cute little Santa's Workshop like gingerbread house bags. And these are from Celebrate It. They were $4.99, but I, I think they were 40% off. They were pretty good price. You get 24 pieces. And they're just like these zip zipper top uh, bags. I think you're supposed to put like cookies in there, but of course I will use them for crafting instead. And I thought they were super cute. So I grabbed those. And then, uh, I also had to pick up this snow globe vellum pack. I'm sure you guys have all seen this. It comes with, uh, 12 designs and there it's 12 by 12 inches, 24 sheets. And it's just beautiful snowflake vellum in a whole pack of it. Um, and it is pretty, really pretty. Um, it's pretty good quality vellum, or so it feels like. And it's just got all different kinds of snowflake patterns. I don't even know that that's really showing up on screen. But it's very pretty. Um, this one has some snowflakes towards the top. Yeah, really pretty. Just perfect for your Christmas crafting. And it was a pretty good deal because it was 40% off as well. And so it was $19.99. And I think I paid like $12 for it. And then they had a coupon on top of that. I think it was like an extra 20% off on top of that. So I got a good deal for sure. Okay. And then um, I also had to grab this. So this is what prompted the order. And um, she was sharing this collection uh, from Recollections. And I just... I just loved it so much and I am not really a vintage Christmas person. I'm not really a vintage person period. Um, I like some vintage stuff but um, some of it is almost too vintage for me uh, but this just seemed like the right amount. Um, so this is a, a collection kit. Again I'm sure you guys have already seen it. It has 420 pieces, but I think they're counting like every little teeny tiny sticker in here. Uh, it was $14.99, 40% off, plus 20% on top of that. So I got it for like seven something. Um, so it was a great deal. And uh, I am just so over the moon with this. I actually bought two packs and I'm so glad I did. Um, and yeah, so it comes with these rhinestones. I don't use rhinestones a whole lot on my projects, but um, these are really cute and they match the collection. So that's fun. Okay. And uh, it comes with, I believe, two of each pattern. And you guys, I was expecting this paper to be like copy paper thin, you know, just sort of like, okay, well, I'm just going to have to find a way to make it work. No, this is like good, good quality thickness of paper. I mean, it's not the best paper that I've ever felt, but it's pretty darn good. Um, way better quality than I was expecting. Um, you're not going to need to like back this up on anything. You can just use it. Um, so yeah, really, really cute. Look at this. I love the pinks and the mint mixed with the red. It's just, it's very cute. It's vintage without being too vintage. I don't know if that makes sense, but... I love it. It is single-sided. You get two of each sheet. Uh, look at this. How cute. Snow globes. I'm going to go slow so you can see. I've seen several people do haul videos on this collection. 
So we will probably be seeing some projects soon. But yeah, really cute. Um, so yeah. And then we have these coffee mugs. Look how cute these are. Uh, you know, Michael's really stepped it up with this collection. I, I'm first of all, I'm excited about just this whole idea of this type of paper pack. Um, this is way better than the paper pads that they've had. Um, and the quality of it is really nice. And the illustrations are super cute. I mean, this looks like, you know, it's from a regular crafting company. Okay. And then we even have like a, you know, simple candy cane stripe, which I love because you can't, you can't just use, you know, crazy patterns. You got to mix it with some more basic stuff. So that's great. Love that. We have this poinsettia paper. This is not my favorite. I don't hate it though. It's okay. Um, you know, it's pretty. It looks more 70s to me than maybe 50s or 60s, but okay. And then we have these ornaments. These are really cute. Cute little ornament paper. Okay, and then this is really fun. This is like a holographic with multicolored almost like piping icing strips down the center. Really cute, fun paper. And again, this is not super thin. I mean, it's not, it's not like poster board or anything, but it's good quality paper. Really impressed with this. I was pleasantly surprised. Okay. Then we have a sticker sheet and it has silver foiling on it. And we've got all these cute little icons. Really cute. That little reindeer is adorable. I love the nutcracker as well. Especially that pink one. Uh, so cute. And then it comes with these sticker strips. And let me see. I think this is like washi. Yes, it is. These are going to be like washi strips. Okay, so that's fun. A different texture to add to your projects. Look how cute. Look at that. Look at those cars. Mopeds. Really, really loving this. And then we get a alphabet sticker sheet uh, with the gold, fo uh, silver foiling, I mean, holographic silver. And it's got all the alphabet. You get several of each letter and you get the numbers down here. Super cute. And then it comes with these punch out um, ephemera. So the ephemera is glossy on the front. It's very vibrantly printed and it's printed perfectly. It's not like you know, there's no misprints or anything. Um, and the th it's decent sized weight. I mean, it's not, you can just use the ephemera. You're not going to have to glue it on something first. Uh, it's good. I like it. I'm happy with it. So yeah, you can see it's shiny, but yeah, look how cute it is. I was just so impressed with this. I went back on there to see if there were any other packages or collections that I was interested in. There really wasn't, but I'm really happy with this. And then it comes with three sheets of solid paper. Now this paper is a little bit thinner than the other, but it's it's not copy paper, it's thicker than that. Um, so, you know, it's decent, it's matte colored, it's printed pretty vibrantly, it's double-sided, so you get the color on both sides, and you get three colors that coordinate with the collection. So that's really nice. I just, I am so impressed with this. I cannot wait to see what else they have to share with us. Hopefully they're going to come out with other collections like this for other holidays. And um, I hope they're just as cute as this one is. And um, like I said, I got a really good deal on this. I think it was like $7.50 or $7.75 or something like that for each one. So that was a great price. Um, it's a pretty good price at $15, but um, even better at half off. So that is what I picked up from Michael's. Okay, and then I have a couple of D stashes to share. I picked up this snowflake paper pad from, I don't even remember where I got this. Maybe on Facebook, a Facebook D stash. I can't remember who. Somebody was D stashing it, so I snapped it up. It is the um, six by eight snowflake paper pad, and I really love this collection. Uh, surprisingly, because the colors are very muted, and that's not usually my thing, but I think I love the illustration so much that uh, I just really love it. So I was excited to grab that um, to go with the other pieces of the collection. And then uh, I placed an order with Monty at the Polka Dot Pinecone. 
and she had several things that she was destashing. So um, let me go through the paper first. She had some marigold paper, and I love this duck paper. It's so pretty. Um, so she had these. I think they were a dollar a sheet, and I think she has more. So if you're looking for some of this, she has plenty. Um, so this one is called uh, Darling, and it has these pink ducks on this side. And then the back side looks like this, and I love both sides equally so much. I really think this paper could be used with all kinds of collections, this black and cream. So I got several sheets of that. And then um, she had this Hey Santa, and Hey Santa is like one of my all-time favorite Christmas collections. So I snapped up some of these. This was the Very Merry. It's the red polka dot. And then on the back, it has the cut aparts, the like journaling spots. And so I grabbed several sheets of that. And then this is also Hey Santa. And it has all these pretty stars. And then on the back is sort of this pink with these red geometric type shapes on there. So I grabbed a few sheets of that. And then I picked up this gnome paper. So this was just um, something she was destashing out of her personal collection and it looks like she's used it a little bit um but i didn't i mean i knew that when i bought it um i had bought a uh, gnome collection from her sometime back uh, a couple years now and i believe this goes with that collection and so it's just more papers that go with that little cute christmas gnome collection and um this one i think is the only one she's cut out of and it's just, look how cute these little gnomes are. They're just adorable. And I'm not a huge gnome fan. I think they're super cute, but I'm not like all gnome all the time or anything. Uh, but I do really love this collection. I think it's so sweet. So, um, yeah, really cute. I don't even know what company this is from. Uh, look at this big piece here. This is for like if you're scrapbooking. Can put your pictures down here and the beard and then on the back it has the stripe um, and then we have this cute little deer in the forest with a green sweater tone on tone sweater print and then look how cute this is these little log houses and it's just a very cutesy collection. Uh, the paper is pretty thin. I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't know where this is from. I want to say maybe this was sold on HSN at some point. Um, but I don't know what company produced it. But it does, I think, coordinate with the one that I purchased from her. So I wanted to go ahead and grab some more of it. This is really cute. Hopefully someday I will make a December Daily album with it. That's my plan. Got some polka dots. These cute little ornaments. And then on the back, some more polka dots. So that was what um, came in that little paper pack. And then I picked up this uh, Bella Boulevard from her. Again, this just came from her personal stash. And uh, this is what she had left over. I have a pretty good amount of this collection already, but I really love it. And so I was glad to get more of it. Um, these are the little chipboard pieces here that come with the collection. The collection is called Santa Stops Here, and it's by Bella Boulevard. And it's pretty old. Um, it doesn't say what year, but it's, it's several years old. Um, and it's a really cute collection that I just absolutely love. So when she was destashing hers, I decided to grab it so that I could add it to what I already have. Look at these packages. I love the colors. I love Bella Boulevard. It's such a fun company. They have such cute um, illustrations. Sometimes I like them more than... Doodlebug because it's cute like Doodlebug but not quite as cutesy as Doodlebug. So you get kind of a happy medium. So yeah, this is just what she had left. So um, super cute. So I grabbed that. So that is my haul for you guys today. I hope you are doing well and I will talk to you later. All right, bye.